Okay guys, to part two, I just wanted to show you I am having to work on the Ender 3 a little bit here, so this has to be part two because I've been trying to test it out today after I figured out how to get everything to kind of work. Um, as you can see right over here, that squiggly line, that's actually filament because it's not, it wasn't printing out correctly because I think it has to do with this hot end um, nozzle. This is the 0 0.4 millimeter, and you can see it looks a little, like, messed up, like, burnt out, sort of. So the good news is, hold on, let me just show you. I have a case of these 0 0.4 millimeter um, nozzles, so I'll be able to replace them anytime I need to. So I just put a new one inside of the hot end, so I'm going to show you right over here if I can. It's a little hard to show you, but... It is right up in here. It's just hard to see it, I guess. Uh, if I could just tilt the camera, it's just difficult. But um, there is a new nozzle in here. And let me just hold on. Let me pause the video. All right, welcome back, guys. Sorry about the wait. I have the Z-axis moving up, so that way I can show you guys the new nozzle that should be in here. Let me just there we go, right there. And I did double check with a piece of paper to make sure that my bed level was perfect for that new nozzle. And um, I wanted to mention as well, if you can see that little fan in there, that's actually a 12 volt Noctua fan that I had already just sitting. Well, I had it for the CR10 because it uses 12 volts, but um, the fan that was on my Ender 3 had like worn out and damaged. So I had to replace it with this 12 volt one that I had to spare of. And then I also used a little um, power adapter as a um, power adjustment. It's in here somewhere inside this wrapped up um, Velcro. But um, it's connected to that connector right here. So I had brought down the voltage from 24 volts, which is the normal um, fan speed or voltage. For the first original fan so that's why that um that connector is over here strapped up because i got 20 24 volts going into the adjuster to down to 12 volts so that way you can turn that fan on to cool down the hot end anyway i just wanted to mention that information because i don't know if you guys were able to see that in the previous video but i just want to make sure that you guys are aware of what i have on this ender 3 and this is a brand new um, glass bed. I actually found this at a bin store. So I got it cheaper than it would have been online. But either way, I bought this new one. And I just got it installed today. When I was taking off the old one, I actually dropped it and it kind of broke. So that's why I'm glad I had this new one. So now I'm going to be... And it is the right size. You can see it says Corality and everything. So it's made for the Ender 3. And it should print out just fine now, I'm hoping. So I guess you'll have to see part three to see about if it's printing out okay now. Because now that I tested it out and it came out that weird um, squiggly filament. So now I'm going to be testing out a calibration cube. So hopefully on um, part three you'll be able to see it coming out good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.